Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve a bootloader um, issue in Windows 10 where you're unable to boot into Windows 10. So this is a fairly common problem that quite a few people appear to have. So I thought I'd do a brief tutorial highlighting a potential fix for this. So the first thing we're going to have to do is make sure your computer powers off at least three times in a row. In this case, it'll start to load the built-in Windows 10 troubleshooting utility. It doesn't require any CD or DVD to launch this. So if you're not getting automatically directed to the troubleshooting window, you'll want to power off your PC three times doing a hard power turn off. And then just let this run until we get to the troubleshooting window. Okay, so now we can see this is automatic repair. Your PC did not start correctly. You want to select the advanced options button on the right side here and left click on it. Underneath choose an option window, select the troubleshoot in the middle. And now that we're underneath the troubleshooting window, select advanced options tile. Now at the top right, you want to select the command prompt. Okay, so now that we're underneath the command prompt window, we want to type in first boot rec, B-O-O-T-R-E-C forward slash fix MBR and then hit enter on your keyboard okay so once you're doing that we're going to type in boot rack again so B O O T R E C and then you're going to do a space forward slash fix boot and then you're going to hit enter again Okay, so now what we're going to do is type in boot rec once again, so B-O-O-T-R-E-C forward slash, after you do a space, so remember boot rec space forward slash rebuild B-C-D, and then hit enter on your keyboard again, and this will just take a moment to run, so just be patient, and then once it says the operation completed successfully, you can type exit. So EXIT, very straightforward, and then hit enter your keyboard to get taken back to this window. So now you should be able to left click on the continue tile to exit and continue to Windows 10, and hopefully your issue has been resolved. So I can't guarantee this will work for everybody, and I really don't believe it will work for everybody, but I definitely think it's worth a shot. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out, and I will catch you in the next tutorial. Goodbye.